you know, when I'm modifying the table, in addition to modifying the contents of the table, I might want to modify the table itself. For example, after the table's been created, I can click on any grid line in the table to select that table. When selected in this way, the table displays column and row labels similar to a spreadsheet, as well as grips that I can then use to modify the table. So if I hover over one of these grips, a little tooltip displays, and it shows me exactly what the function of that particular grip is. For example, I can move the table by selecting this grip and then dragging the table. If I click and drag on this grip, I can uniformly change the width of the entire table. If I click and drag on any one of these grips, I can change the width of the selected column without affecting the overall width of the table. But if I hold down the control key while I drag one of these grips, then I not only change the width of the column, but it affects the overall width of the entire table. Now, if I click and drag this grip upward, I can force the table to be broken into additional table segments. Notice that when I drag this grip up three rows, those three rows are now placed in the new table segment here to the right. Now, initially, this table fragment doesn't have any header or title information. This is controlled from the Properties palette. So if I display the Properties palette, notice that here in the Table Breaks area, I can enable or disable the ability to break the table. And then I can also control where the new table fragment will be placed. If I click the Repeat Top Labels cell, then I can enable or disable the top labels. So if I change this value to yes, notice that the table header and title rows are now added to the new table fragment. So this capability has been in AutoCAD now since AutoCAD two, 2008. Uh, it was added at the same time as the ability to break text into multiple columns. But it enables me to break a table into multiple table fragments and repeat the title and header rows in both of those fragments. And it just gives me a lot more flexibility for being able to create and place tables on, in my drawings and get them arranged and looking exactly the way I want them.